Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, today what I have got for you is the mailer from Crate Finds for the month of January. You know, these always come in a little late in the month, um, but I have got the deluxe version so that I can show you exactly how that is and that is the version you pay for and I will show you what you'll get in the version that is free with just shipping. So we are going to get into this but before I do <laughs> I wanted to explain to y'all I look a little rough right now. Um, you will see a video later on about why but I can't wear any foundation or anything for about a week or so because I just got microblading done. I'm filming this on Monday so I just got it done two days ago on Saturday and I'll post a video of that whole process, but no face makeup for Flo <laughs> for about another week. So any videos I make during this week, I'm just going to be showcasing the products so that I don't disturb the microblading and mess anything up. So we are going to jump right in and I'm going to show you what you got and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so for this mailer, I'll just show you an example of what may come in your free box. You're going to get one of two of the silicone blending sponges. They're shaped like diamonds and they are super adorable. Here's the top of it. And we're gonna test this out with some concealer under my eyes to see how it blends that. <clears throat> then you'll get one of four eyeshadow shades. I have three of them here. There is a dark blue, a pink, and a purple. And there's one more shade. I believe it is a darker purple, but I didn't get that one. And then there are four options of lip toppers. And I'm going to swatch these all for you. And then you will get one little container of glitter that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to attempt to get this on my eyes, but I don't have glitter glue, so I'm promising nothing. So I'm just going to show you how these blend out the concealer and a quick eye look and some swatches and the lip toppers. So that's what we have got going today. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and blend some concealer in. So I'm going to zoom y'all in and see how this works. I haven't tried this sponge yet. I'm just going to take some shape tape, put a little dab under each eye. And we're just going to see how this blending goes. <clears throat> and this is what I've been doing since I can't wear makeup. I've just been putting concealer to hide my tired. And that's all I've been wearing lately. So we're just going to see how this goes. see that blended out pretty nicely there's not a whole lot of product on here so it didn't waste a whole lot and it allowed me to spread it out so I could cover up some of this redness on my nose too so I'm gonna do the other under eye real quick and then I'll be right back okay so that is all blended out <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do for my eyes I'm gonna swatch these three colors for y'all first and then I'm going to attempt to create like a really bright look and then just put that glitter on the lid if I can get it to stay. So let me get these swatches. Okay, so here are the swatches of the eyeshadows. And I'm horrible at these, so I'll stand up and show them to you. They are very bright and very pigmented. This one's a little darker. These two are super bright. So what we are going to do is just go ahead and try to make a super bright look from these three and see what we can come up with. So I'm just going to start out with the pink color right here. By the way, for anyone who noticed, I did my nails. They're not ratchet today. <laughs> We're going to start out with this color on a big fluffy brush and just blend it, blend it all in the crease. And I went ahead and put on a little bit of MAC Paint Pot just so that I would have a base to go on top of since I don't have foundation. Okay, so that blended nicely and it laid down really well. 
So on a slightly smaller like goat hair brush, I'm just going to take the purple shade and put that in the crease as well, a little bit lower down and bringing it into my outer V. Okay, so that is the last big crease shade I'm going to do. And now I'm going to take this dark blue, so I want to incorporate all the colors. I'm hoping this is a good way to do that. And on that same brush, I'm going to take this and focus it really into that outer V. And just give myself a little bit of a smoked out effect. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now I'm going to take this smaller brush, uh, this is a Morphe G19, and I'm going to run those colors in that same order across my lower, or in backwards order. <laughs> Dark blue first, then blending out with the other colors under my lower lash line. Since I don't have glitter glue, the best thing I could come up with is maybe using concealer to cut my crease and really hoping that glitter sticks to it. So that's what we're going to try. And the glitter is so stinking pretty. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> but I'm going to try it like that so I have a small flat brush and my shape tape and I'm just going to cut a crease real quick and I'm just going to do it on the first part of my lid. I'm not going to do the whole lid like the first half. So. Okay, so I'm just going to take the glitter on my fingertip and try to press it on here. So that actually worked really nicely. I'll zoom y'all in in a minute after I finish this other eye so that y'all can see just how good this looks because that worked a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit in my inner corner too. Okay, so that is super pretty. I don't know if this is picking up right now. I'll make sure it does in a second. But I'm going to grab some eyeliner and some mascara. I'm not going to put falsies on right now. But I'm going to go grab that and then I'll be right back so I can show you these lips. Okay guys, so while I was off camera, I took care of the rest of my eyes. And I went ahead and swatched these lip toppers for you. Now keep in mind, these are lip toppers so they're very light. we got the purple, the blue, the orange, and the pink. And these are just really, really sheer. They're not going to be like crazy, but I am going to use the pink so that it'll match my glitter. And then we'll get a quick zoom in so you can see how this look turned out because I'm loving it. I didn't put a lippy under this because I just wanted it to be real shiny, kind of how my eyes are right now. Um, and keep in mind, I don't have any face makeup on except for that little bit of concealer. So if the rest of me looks rough, blame these. But aren't they nice though? I have whole eyebrows now. And uh, this concealer is starting to crease up a little bit with the glitter because I've never done this before. But uh, it looks pretty nice and I like it. So we are going to brighten this down just a little bit and bring this in. And y'all look, can you see how shiny this glitter is? I'm not sure if it's picking up. These lips are super shiny too. And this would look great over any kind of um, lippy or anything. But this glitter is matching. 
Okay, so to see the full extent of this glitter, I felt like we needed a little more brightness. But, like, it looks so pretty, and I just feel like the camera's not picking it up how I want it to. But it is so gorgeous, and I hope these lights are getting it. Because this is pretty. Like, I love it. I don't know if it's something I'd wear every day, but I could definitely see this for, like, special occasions and stuff. Because this is super cute. So, that is that. And I'm going to talk to y'all for a second now. Okay, so y'all know that I absolutely adore crepe vines. Um, I am an ambassador. No, I don't make money off of this. It is just a subscription that I love and I work with the company. And, you know, they talk to us about products that are coming out, what's going on. We get a little stuff, like a little bit of notice ahead of time. So I wanted to let y'all in. Uh, Mailer 4 is up for pre-order as of yesterday. <clears throat> So if y'all remember, I tested out Crate Finds Makeup a while back on my channel and it was there unreleased. Well, <laughs> it's now released. So praise God, I'm so excited to finally get my hands on all of it because I have to have all of it. And uh, this next month's mailer will still be, it'll be $6.95 for shipping. Everything else is free if you get the regular. So with the regular one, you're going to get one liquid lipstick, one eyeshadow, and um, you'll get two like face eye mask things. The quality of these lippies and these eyeshadows are incredible. These are not the eyeshadows. These are awesome. Those are even better. Like they are leaps and bounds ahead of these and these are wonderful. Like these are extremely pigmented. So what I wanted to tell y'all is that that's gonna be available. There'll be a deluxe option. Now that does get a little pricey. So, you know, if you're not sure about this brand yet, you can get the free one. If you fall in love with it, like I know you're going to fall in love with it because I did, you can get the deluxe and you'll get like almost everything in the whole collection. It'll also be available to actually order it as well. So the whole makeup line or the whole first part, let me rephrase that. There's so much more to come. But this first round of lippies and this first round of eyeshadows as well as a magnetic Z palette to store... All your little beauties in is going to be available um, soon but it's for pre-order now so you can go ahead and get your hands on the free version you can get the deluxe if you want to I'm going to and I cannot wait but that is up now and yeah that is just so incredible and I'm so excited I um, also wanted to thank you guys because if you watch my video Saturday you'll know that for me that was a really emotional video and I wanted to mention it here because that video was a challenge done through Crate Finds. Um, they're just a company, they care so much about their people. Like, they want everyone to know, you know, they're welcome. We have a group on Facebook, and it's a makeup group, but if you're ever going through something, like, you can post, and either one of the ambassadors or someone else in the group, or sometimes even, you know, the owners of Crate Finds will reply to you, and they are super responsive and super, like, they communicate with everybody. They're so amazing. Um, if you want to be in that group, so you can get some stuff a little bit ahead of time, uh, find out what's going on, talk to the people who created this brand. It's called the Crate Find Squad. It's on Facebook. I'll link it below. We have giveaways. We have raffles. We have just talks, you know, we get to know a little bit ahead of time when stuff is coming out. It's amazing. So I'll link that below for anyone who wants in. And I just wanted to say thank you to Crate Finds and to Victoria Marie. She is another ambassador. Uh, she actually came up with the idea of the challenge. And I decided that I didn't want to just post a picture. I wanted to share it with everybody because for me, that video really spoke volumes. And just looking at everyone's pictures and reading their stories really just made me feel normal kind of how I said in the video you know everybody goes through stuff and it's really I mean I don't like hearing that other people have been through terrible things don't hear me say that but I like hearing that I'm not alone when it comes to stuff like that and I hope y'all did too that video was had an amazing response and I was so surprised like a part of me hoped that only five people would watch it because I was so nervous but I was glad to see, and all the comments were incredible. So thank y'all for being amazing. Uh, this is mailer number, oh God, what is this? This is number three. Go ahead and go pre-order your number four. I'll link that down below. 
And uh, I'm going to let y'all get off of this video and continue your day. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye, you guys.